what is an IMO? It's a robotic lawnmower, autonomous lawnmower. And we're really proud this year to introduce the new IMO EVO. And uh, we have three models. Three models, starting with the 5 EVO. The 5 EVO is basically the European version that we brought over. It can mow up to uh, 0.37 acres. And the main differences that we're going to have with the other two units are the cutting height. Cutting height for the 5 EVO is going to be maximum 2.4 inches, while the other one can mow up to 4 inches. And that's, that's the new thing we're bringing into the market here. In the US, it's a 4-inch robotic mower. So the second machine that we have is the 6 EVO, and that one can mow up to uh, 0.6 acres, 7, M, 7 EVO, one acre. For um, um, a robotic mower to work, we need two things. We need a docking station. That's the thing that you see here on my right. Docking station is basically the house of the mower and it uh, serves two things. Charging the mower and sending the signal to the perimeter wire. We are introducing this mower with a guide wire. A guide wire is basically a wire that you're going to put in the middle of the yard and it has two functions. It will help the mower to get back to its docking station efficiently uh, quickly, but you can also set up starting virtual points on that wire. And you can tell the IMO, okay, uh, IMO, please start from the docking station. But if you, if you want him to, to mow a specific area at the end of the garden or really far away from the docking station, then you will tell him, don't start from the docking station, but start from that virtual starting point that we set up together. So on this new mower, we have several uh, new features. The first one being those two dots that you see in the front of the mower. They're called obstacle sensors. So what's happening basically, it's like when you go reverse with your car, the, the two sensors here, they will see if there is an obstacle in front of the mower. And as soon as the mower says, OK, there is an obstacle in front of me, it will slow down, slowly bump into it and then change direction. Those two sensors, they will not uh, make the IMO avoid any obstacles, just slowing down and then changing direction. The second feature that we have is the user machine interface. So we have only five buttons. So we have the info button. We have the home, home or house button, the play button, basically start the IMO, or the unlock button. But there are not only new buttons. The machine can speak to you. If I click on info, the device lock is activated. To exit, press and hold the unlock button. You see, the machine will talk to me and tell me what to do. Another cool feature that we have on those mowers is what we call the LED mattress. It's a LED um square which is placed on the other side of the, of the mower and it will display like logos so here we have a locker for example to let you know that the mower is locked if you look at the the working mower here you can have different kind of symbols or animations a blade turning uh like we like we can see right now at this exact moment blade is turning let, letting the customer know that okay here my blades are engaged and the mower is actually mowing uh, you have other animation and uh, this is a pretty cool feature because it shows and it tells you exactly what you need to see if you are having a question and oh what's my mower doing just look at the led mattress and it will tell you what what's going on with the mower the last feature i really want to show you is actually the blade we have a new blade system below uh, and it's actually three razor blades but the other cool feature is that you can actually put out that mowing disc without any tool it's completely toolless so let me show you you just unbolt that mowing disc and that's where you get access to the blade you see no tools required pretty easy pretty convenient and here we have those three new blades patented by Stiel. and if you want to change the actual blade just get out and here you have your blade it's pretty easy uh, it's pretty intuitive everybody can do it and you can change your set of blades